you you mentioned this a little bit ago. You said you have how many songs on your SoundCloud? Fifty three public 53. tracks, I believe is correct. I feel this is very unique to you guys as Chief. Because when you go on SoundCloud or any other platform, right. there aren't too many local artists who have such a like large repertoire of songs. Right. Usually it's just like a handful of songs, nothing too extensive, and it's kind of like a sample. Yeah. Whereas with you guys, you could just scroll and scroll and scroll. And Jose Lobby said the same thing. <laughs> scroll and scroll and Ooh. scroll, and you have so... I'm just Mr. Lobby. <laughs> Mr. Lobby. <laughs> But you, you, you really have so much music for people to, to sit there, listen to, and enjoy, yeah. and appreciate what you guys do. Yeah. And it is very unique to you guys. Right. Like, how, how do you feel about it? How do you feel about how you guys are able to pump out so much music? Uh, and it's, it's good quality music, too. It's, yeah, it's up there. It's getting better. It's actually at a good spot right now. But it's like you said, man, for, it's for people to enjoy. That's why we do it. You know, that's motivation behind doing it. Like, we just want people to like the music and like I think it's safe to say there's just a lot of trashy music that's been going around as of late like past few years like obviously there's great music you know in mass but you know I guess primarily hip-hop I don't want to sit here and be like oh we're the ones that are gonna say hip-hop but it's not even like that it's just we're making music that we want to listen to you know and we're pretty down to earth we're normal we're chill people so if we like it somebody else bound to like it and you know we've you know let you hear a lot of tracks and we've let a lot of other friends hear tracks they all like it and aside from the people that uh listen to it that we don't know which is international by the way we have a hefty mm -hmm. list of countries that listen to our tracks that's kind of cool that's dope to see but uh yeah man and the caliber that we make these tracks at you know it's always it doesn't take us too long. It, sometimes it takes longer than others. Like you said, you like No Feels. Uh, that was a couple of days ago. Luis Jose Lavi came to my house. <laughs> <laughs> he came to my house, and we didn't really have, you know, uh, we don't plan things. Like I said, same thing with the video. I mean, this is like a, a theme with us. Like, we don't, we just kind of go with the flow, chilling out in every fashion, man. Like, lifestyle, you just go. Like, not everybody can be a chief, that's what we say. But Sometimes it's better when it's raw. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So he came over and uh, we actually didn't produce this song. We found it on YouTube. And uh, sorry to the guy that was probably asking for money, but we kind of just used a little YouTube ripper to get the beat. So we got the beat, uh, we wrote to it, and we recorded it in my car together. Like, you know, that was fun. And, you know, we have a studio setting, we have a microphone, we have minimal equipment, you need to make music, but and that's how that came about. And uh, that's, that's a f funny thing too, man. A lot of people, you know, I've tried to help, you know, get into music. Uh, I always tell them you don't need expensive equipment. Uh, referring back to No Feels, me and Luis recorded that with my iPhone. You know, so it doesn't take much. Like, you, anybody, you know, you could play a song on YouTube and just go and record it with your video app on your phone. Like, that's creating. Like, you know, I feel like a, a lot of people think it's like a block to not have all the tools they need to do it. When really, they're just, it's right there. You just kind of have to apply yourself. And that's why we crank out so much shit because all three of us are about that. Whether we're together, we're separate. We're always working on something. So. You have to be willing to go out and do it. Yeah. 